Hello, guys. Happy Monday and happy Labor Day. I hope some of you are enjoying an extra long weekend because you deserve it. We work so hard and it's so important to make time to rest and take care of ourselves too. Hashtag note to self. Okay, so I was doing some thinking the other day and self-reflecting about how we should never feel like we're better than anyone else or above anyone else. And so I wanted to unpack that here on the podcast. So that's what we're going to talk about today on Cheese and Chill. Are you ready? Here we go. So what do I mean by never feeling like you're above others? And why does it matter? I've seen a lot of things in my life. I've experienced quite a bit, a lot of disappointment. I have disappointed others. And a lot of those things helped me grow and learn. And I was sitting at my desk and this whole idea came up because I was dealing with some stuff with some people on my team. I'm not going to say any names. It's not worth it. We've already talked it out. But I just felt very sad because I don't like when people feel like they are indispensable. When people don't take accountability and responsibility, we've talked about this so many times because it's a huge pet peeve. One day we're going to do an episode of my pet peeves because I have quite a bit. Anyways, one of my pet peeves is when people can't humble themselves and apologize and take accountability and their ego, and we've talked about the ego because ego is not your amigo, how it gets in the way of you becoming who you are meant to be because you're afraid to be vulnerable and to show your real feelings. So anyways, that's a whole other episode. My, my point is, guys, that I was in a situation where someone felt like, oh, they'll come back and she can't find anyone else. I cannot with that. Like when you give me that energy, I will do anything and everything to find someone else and someone better. And, and that's just a small part of it because there's so much more to that story and I don't want to get into it because again, we talked about things and, and things are not resolved, but I guess we clear the air. I think it's just important that we realize that anything can happen at any time. We can be on top today and you turn around and things have changed. And I've seen it with my own two eyes, with people around me, with maybe certain family members, friendships, where people are on top and they have all the money in the world and the power to buy whatever they want and the power to destroy people with the money that they have and the power and the positions. And they think that they are invincible. And then something happens. Life shakes you up. God sits you on your ass and everything is taken away. And all those people that you treated bad along the way turn their back and say, well, you were very mean to me. Why should I help you when you need it, when you're on the floor? I have seen it freaking happen, guys. I can tell you, and you guys know I'm very honest, I have never in my life felt that I am better than anyone or less than anyone. I like to treat people the way I want to be treated. I will treat the president, the CEO of the company the same exact way I would treat the janitor that I see that's cleaning the restroom that I just used. I promise you, because I have learned and I have seen it and I never want to go through that. I want to be able to say I was nice to everyone and not because it's forced, not because I'm pretending, but because it's really who I am because I know right now I can live in this beautiful home that God has given me. And I swear you guys, I pray and I'm like, God, thank you for helping me make ends meet every month. Cause when I moved here, it was a huge fucking risk. It was like, I'm taking a huge leap of faith right now and I don't know how I'm going to do it, but God will provide. And he has provided. And I've been in this home for three years. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I don't know because the job that I have it's a career, but it's not like, this is why you guys, I'm so passionate about school or about learning some type of trait, something that no one can ever take from you because I just have my high school diploma. I didn't go to college and it's never too late to go to college. If I want to go and become a psychologist, I can probably do it. It's just going to take me like four years or whatever. But anyways, like 
my job is so, I guess the word is unreliable. I, I don't know if, I'm, if people are still going to love me next year. And if brands are still going to want to work with me or, or, or you guys are still going to want to buy my products, like I don't know or what happens with the entertainment world. Things are changing so rapidly. It's getting harder and harder to fill up these venues. And not just with me, with huge artists, like a lot of people were in a recession. A lot of people are saving their money. I see it on e-commerce, like things are constantly changing. So for me, I can have this position and I can have all the things that I'm doing and, and you know, Chiqui Sin Filtro and my music and my books and my podcast, but I never know what's going to happen. So I want to be able to be okay with knowing, hey, I was there and I treated people well. And those people that I treated well on my way up, quote unquote, if I turn around and I need their help later or I need to sleep on someone's couch, they're not going to say, no, you were a bitch to me. They're probably going to say, hey, don't even worry. Here's my couch. Here's this extra room. Let me feed you. Let me feed you and your husband. Like, you don't have to have a high position in the world to be nice or to be mean to people. It's just we're human beings at the end of the day. We are all made of bones, flesh, blood, tendons. Like, we're all made the same. We all are born and then we die. What we do in the middle of that determines so much. So with this whole situation that happened and, and I was thinking and I was feeling sad and just disappointed with certain things and certain people just got me thinking of just so many things and how important it is never to feel like you are more than anyone else. And also how important it is for you not to feel like you're less than anyone else. Don't feel like you're any less than even the president of the United States, guys. Like, I could probably be in the same room with the guy and it was like, I'm going to be respectful and I'm going to be cordial, but you're still human at the end of the day. You still deserve respect because of the, because you're a human. Do I agree with everything that you do? Maybe not, but I'm still going to be respectful, but I don't feel less. I don't feel like you are better than me. Like we have to understand like the value of being alive and what we bring to the world and do it every single day, like intentionally, there goes the word, intentional of being just good humans and treating people well and doing good, even when people aren't watching, especially when people aren't watching. That shows if you are a person of integrity, when you do things, good things, when people aren't watching. Never think like, oh, I have this position. It's never going to be taken away from me. I don't have to help you because you're less than me. You're lower than me. I, uh, I cannot with that. And I have experienced it with even other artists, other female artists that feel because they've been in the game longer than I have, because maybe they don't like my voice. They've accomplished more than I have. They have more streams than I do. They feel like, oh, she's less. Or mm, I don't want to do a duet with her because she's not on my level. What? I honestly, I used to let that stuff get to me. Now I'm just like, hmm, I feel so bad for you. I have given people opportunities because God has given me this platform and, and any way that I can help someone and they can help me and we can help each other. Why the hell wouldn't I do it? I never have thought that I'm too good for anyone where it's like, I can't do this song with her because she doesn't have a lot of followers. And what is she going to do for me? I've had that happen to me a lot <laughs> where people that I have admired and I've wanted to do collabs with and they have said no. And it's hurt my feelings. And I'm like, damn, that sucks. But now I look back and, and it's not to make fun and it's not to say, ha, 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 that's what you get. But they're not filling up stadiums the way they used to. People don't believe their little acts anymore. They're not the cool kids on the block anymore. Meanwhile, thank God, thank you guys. Little by little, things are getting better for me in my career. And if they were to come and ask me if they wanted, they wanted to do a duet, let's say in a year, I am fucking killing it. My streams are crazy. Like I'm filling up stadiums. And they came and said, hey, 
I know I said no to you before, but would you be willing to do a duet with me or a collab? I'd probably say yes, guys. Even though they closed the door on my face. Because at the end of the day, it's not my place to judge anyone, unless they did really something really messed up to me. But all they did was say no. Yeah, they did it hurt my feelings? Yes. Do I think it's messed up? Would I do that? No. But at least I can say, well, they'll never be able to say that my career became what it is or what it will be because they gave me the opportunity. Would I have loved to do something with them? Yes. But they thought they were too good for me and that's okay. I'm doing my thing. It's taking a little longer than others, but a candle that burns twice as bright burns twice as fast. The faster you get somewhere, I feel like the faster the fall. It's not about getting there. It's about sustaining yourself. And I have seen it where people will step on anyone, these are called opportunists, to get to a place to achieve something and they'll screw anyone over to get there. And they get there because, again, they've screwed a lot of people over, but they don't last a long time up there. And the fall, unfortunately, is very hard. Again, I've seen it so many times, which is why I wanted to tell you guys, be careful. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be on television to listen to what I'm saying. Even in your office, if you have a higher position than someone else, be nice, be respectful, be friendly, give someone a smile. You never know what people are going through. And you never know if that janitor that you are belittling freaking works his ass off or her ass off and surpasses you. It's happened. There are so many stories like that of people that started off at the lowest position in their company and they become the chairman. Like it happens, guys. Be nice to everyone. Be nice to the lady on the on the corner selling flowers. There's nothing more beautiful than a person that is spreading and radiating love and respecting others. And I don't know how, how this all even started with just that little conversation that we had, because I feel like it had nothing to do with the issue that I was having, but it was just, I didn't get into details with you guys. That's why as well. But I just, I don't know. I felt it in my heart and, and I just see it so much, especially in my industry, especially in my industry, you guys, it's so fucking sad. It's so depleting. It's so I can cry about it right now because people can be so mean, like so mean. And I'm just so happy. I'm so proud to say that no matter what, no one can ever say that I was mean to them and that I felt like I was better than them. Granted, I'm not perfect. I'm sure I've had an attitude or or, or whatnot, but I always am very intentional of treating people right because I am so grateful to have everything that I have, but I also know, and I'm wise enough to know that it can be taken away from me and I want to treat people well. And I want them to have this good feeling about me when they think about cheekies. That's part of my legacy. One day when I'm gone, I want people to be able to say, she was very nice to me. She gave me a smile. She didn't have to say hello to me when I walk into a room because I'm quote unquote, no one, but she did. Like, that's what I just want to just leave in your guys' hearts and imprint it in your mind and in your heart is for you guys to just be fucking nice (laughs) because it's something that I have to deal with a lot being a woman in the industry and dealing with other women because they asked me at an interview the other day, what do you think needs to change, Cheekies, for women to become more successful and to have a better position in in your genre? And my answer was women that are in in important positions in the industry to give us women the opportunity. There's so much jealousy. And the women, instead of supporting women, they support the men. And they won't even give us the time of day. And they are in high positions. And as a woman, it makes me proud to see, wow, that girl got there. But she won't take the time to look down at me or at us And say, hey, let me give you an interview. Let me play your music. Let me, whatever the case may be. And not only that, other artists, other women, female artists, for them to also give us the opportunity, the ones that came before us to say, hey, is there any type of advice that I can give you? Like something. 
And that that's what I feel is missing in the world in general. But anyways, I feel like I've talked about so many different things on this episode. But it's just, I'm just talking. I haven't even looked at my notes, you guys. I am just letting my heart speak. And this is what I love about my podcast that I'm able to just talk and express myself. And it's like a form of therapy for me that I am out here in the world learning and dealing with a lot of things and a lot of people and a lot of shitty situations. But I can turn around and talk to you guys and hopefully help you and for you to learn something from my experiences. And that's what this episode is about, really. And now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, we learn as children or as people, we we learn a lot of the things that we're passionate about or, or just our traits and how we are from our parents. And a lot of things I didn't learn. I learned along the way and I learned from reading books and stuff like that. But if I really think about it, that's something that my mom did. My mom Even if she had a very strong attitude, my mother was very respectful and very cordial to everyone. She would also put you in your place real quick and say some pretty mean things, but she was straight up. She wouldn't like run around the bush. But I think that that's definitely where I I saw it and, and I saw how my mom treated everyone equally. And I just thought it was just such a beautiful thing, you know, and, and I thank her for that because I see it in my siblings and my siblings are the same way. And that's something I guess I learned from her and, and I, I, I've led by example with my siblings and they've seen and, and I love that. Like, I love to see that we really, really none of, not one of us thinks that we're better than anyone else or we've wanted to get out of situations or into situations because we are the children of, it's like we treat people the way we want to be treated. And I think that that's one of the most beautiful things people can do. And I don't mean to boast and, and like, you know, toot my own horn, but sometimes you just got to toot it, you know, toot a little, you know? So I'm just very proud, I guess, of my siblings and, and, and I, I never want to forget this. And that's why I want to like leave it here on this podcast so that there is a record of it. And it keeps me accountable that guys, maybe I could be like the next Beyonce. I don't know. And I want to remember this podcast and this episode and remember that I said this thing. And this is a whole other thing. Again, this episode is everywhere, guys. But anyways, I choose to bend the knee to kneel at night because that's my way of humbling myself, of reminding myself, yes, I did all these things all day long. I was on television. I went on stage, whatever. But at the end of the day, I need to humble myself before a higher power and remind myself that there is something, someone higher and bigger than I am. And that just keeps me grounded. And that's why I do it because I'm like, okay, it doesn't matter what I do in the world, what position I have. At the end of the day, I have someone that I need to respect. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyways. Again, guys, I appreciate you listening to me (laughs) and allowing me to express myself and pour my heart out and allow me to be vulnerable and cry. And this is just such a beautiful space for me. And I'm so grateful for my podcast. I'm so grateful for you guys, for my listeners. And I just, I'm out here just trying to do my thing, do my part. And this is part of it, a huge part of it. And I'm just grateful that you take the time to listen. So if you like this podcast and you like this episode, share it. Share it with someone that you feel needs to hear this because it's never too late to change. It's never too late to correct. So yeah, guys, I love you. And um, I will catch you on the next episode of Cheekies and Chill. I appreciate you. Have a beautiful rest of your week, okay? Besitos. Do you need advice on love, relationships, health, imas? I'm so excited to share with you that my Cheekies and Chill podcast will have an extra episode drop each week. I'll be answering all your questions. Just leave me a voice message con todas tus preguntas y yo te las voy a contestar personalmente. All you have to do is go to speakpipe.com slash Cheekies and Chill podcast and record your questions. I can't wait to hear from you.
This is a production of iHeartRadio and the My Cultura Podcast Network. Follow us on Instagram at My Cultura Podcast and follow me, Chiquis, that's C-H-I-Q-U-I-S. For more podcasts from iHeart, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast.